Uh, hi guys, Vitek here. Um, I remember a while ago someone asked me um, under uh, one of my uh, YouTube videos um, regarding negative uh, ion generator um, about the circuit uh, which will detect the presence of such. And um, I, um, I found the circuit on the net. Um, however, there were a couple mistakes. Uh, the battery polarity was reverse it wouldn't work that way and uh, the meter was uh, marked as uh, 100 milliamps uh, which is too much that's 100 microamp uh, meter and uh, one of the transistors this one I believe was uh, marked correctly 2N2222 but was drawn as uh, PNP as well as the the other two so I corrected this and uh, I didn't have any 2N2907 PNP so I use uh, 2N3906 which are PNPs as well and I put two of them in here uh, I didn't find need for a 100 mega ohm resistor at the base I, I used 20 mega ohm two times uh, uh, 10 mega ohm in series um, this capacitor uh, I didn't have small enough 470 so I used 220 picofarads in parallel so that gave me 440 and um, there is a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series with, uh, with the potentiometer the potentiometer can be from 5 to 10 kilo ohms. I had 10 kilo ohms, so I I used it. And the polarity, this is important. Uh, that's the positive. There is a marking ground, which can be earth ground or a small plate. So when you hold this in your hand, you are touching it. And uh, but this is not. Uh, negative coming from the battery that's the positive the negative goes through the switch right here and uh, the circuit pretty simple and uh, I for anyone looking to replicate I even mark the uh, configuration like configuration for a 2N3906 and uh, the metal casing uh, 2N2222 uh, so you can copy this and this will work and um, I put this in a small in a small enclosure I use a piece of PVC pipe and make the bottom cover and um, instead of plate uh, inside I put a small washer with the wire uh, going to going to the positive of the battery and uh, uh, amp meter and uh, yeah that's this this connection in here and uh, on top I, I drill halfway and I glued a small neodymium uh, magnet so I didn't have to solder anything and the magnet just click to the to the washer and uh, this is the potentiometer that's uh, sensitivity uh, regulation that's the one right here and uh, main switch and uh, and the LED and uh, that's a small area small antenna which uh, which goes through uh, 20 mega ohm resistor to the base of the first uh, PNP uh, bipolar transistor and um, it works pretty good uh, as you see it's quite a difference when you when you use the when you use that plate uh, right now I have a negative ion uh, generator running about uh, uh, two feet away from me and uh, and I have a sensitivity cranked uh, well one third 
one third of the way I mean if I go further I'm gonna bend I'm gonna bend the needle probably yeah it's way too much so it's uh, it's picking it's picking signal pretty well I have a, I have a propeller running on top of my uh, a generator so that's why there is a fluctuation on the on the needle and uh, it will also it will also pick um, a static um, I have a little piece of plastic I I have only two hands so you can trust me on this I'm just rubbing this on my on my uh, sweater and as you see it's it's reacting to to the field as well anyway I'll uh, make another one more more sensitive um, uh, shortly I just ordered some JFETs um, so instead of bipolar transistors I'm gonna use the uh, JFET and uh, this this should be way more sensitive and also the way I wanted to make it to uh, to have a meter with uh, with a zero in the center so it will deflect each way showing me if I have more negative or more positive uh, ions so once I'll get this done um, I will uh, I will update this for uh, for anyone interested in uh, replicating such device anyway that's all for today thank you for watching